Well, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a crazy, crazy weekend um, in the past couple of days here in Big D country. Uh, as you know, we are starting. We are having. We're doing a special podcast, but then also with all the hollow balloon and everything that was going on, the sheriff just reminded me that I forgot about APAC. I, I after everything that's going on, and of course, you know, I did the tribute to the Queen of Big D Country yesterday. I forgot about payback. I, I totally forgot about payback, which is understandable what we what we've been going through. Uh, I'm not even going to sing. Uh, I'm not even going to sing the opening song because it's just been too rough. Like, even though I sang yesterday for the Queen, but it's just been too rough for a week. So I'm just going to go ahead and introduce the sheriff because we got we got some stuff that we need to talk about. We we had to go through two wrestling deaths and then Bob Barker and then of course the Queen and then we had to talk about payback. So. Uh, Sheriff, thank you for coming on at such, uh, such crazy notice. So thank you for coming on, Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you, Dejan. This is, um, Sheriff Charles Berman here, a.k.a. Big C here. We lost two great wrestlers past week. Past week. In the state This past week. And I say, say, thank you, Packer. While I was doing my, while I was doing my work, Wyndham was gray, what, six years old. Three, forty-six. Wow. A whole wrestling world. Was I even knew some folks in the wrestling community that he warned his death, boils and stuff. Podcast called. I was still in podcast. I was still in podcast movement. It was, as a matter of fact, this was the last day. Like literally, like literally. I kid you not. I shit you not. This was the last day. The next day, I was gonna, you know, uh, 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 rest before coming back, which I, I'm now at my intern palace that was downgraded from the second palace that may be upgraded again, long story. I'll tell you that in another podcast. But uh it, it's 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 just been surreal. I was like, uh when I the the reason the way I found out it was a video and then also you had told me so I knew it wasn't a fluke because when two people told you and confirmed it on the same day, you know it's not a fluke. Wow. And now it's yeah. don't work. Don't work as well. Even yourself tweeted about it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is... Yeah, and then, next, you know, because after we heard about Bray Wyatt died, I mean, not the... We, we couldn't even process Bray Wyatt and income Terry Punk news about how uh, Terry Punk had, uh, had happened to pass away. But I found out about Terry Funk during the uh the game show productions uh uh group page on uh Facebook twi- uh you know, the Facebook page right to the messenger. That's how I found out about Terry Funk. And uh I was like, Oh my god, what is going on? I'm like, what the heck? Yeah. So uh, we do have news that uh, Terry F- uh, Funk had a, uh, a condition. Now, he did also have, not Terry Funk, I'm sorry, long shot, not Terry Funk. Um, Trey Wyatt, he had, he, he did have COVID, uh, I guess, back when, you know, like back when everything first started. But it also had affected his heart. And yeah. from what I'm understanding, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah. Heart defibrillator. He didn't have his heart defibrillator last week. Had surgery. Exactly. Exactly. I was just. About, thank you, Sheriff. I was just about to say, uh, say that. You rested my case for me. Thank you. And did did uh, did we hear anything else about Terry Funk? Did he have the same thing? Well, I'm so sorry. Hello. I'm so sorry. Matt. 
Natural cause. Holy natural shoot. Cause. Montgomery. Natural cause is Montgomery Funk? Oh my god. He look that old. Oh, okay. Okay. Wow. So, okay, so after we try to process those uh uh what happened is uh those but then but then when it, it was time for SmackDown Oh my god, let's just say shit at the fan because those two those two emotional uh, emotional program on the same night. It was, it was just too much to watch. It was just uh, now I watched it on video, but when it, when they did the the ten bell salute for both of them together, and then the thing that got me when the fans started singing, he got the whole world in his hands. I started singing it. We started we started losing it. I could I couldn't go on, and I was like. I- Almost, I made a long shot. I almost wanted. I almost wanted to. I almost wanted to see. But I could. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't believe in that. I want to see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, now a lot of stars are doing tribute to Bray Wyatt. I just even before I just before I came on here, and then uh, we were starting to do the podcast. I just saw Becky Lynch on on a house show. Uh, she paid a she paid a tribute to uh, Becky Lynch and show that Becky Lynch have a heart, and she, he was at she was actually thanking uh, Bray Wyatt, you know, for teaching her how to do a, a table snatch. You know, table that is a chair snatch. And it was it was very emotional. You think you you thought my you thought my tribute to my late wife was emotional. Oh my god, when I thought when I thought Becky's tribute Forget it, man. Forget it. Forget it. Yeah. I mean holy long shots. That was actually at the end, end of Raw last night. Oh oh it was at the end of all. I thought it was the house show because the way the video was it sounded like it was at the house show. Okay. So it was wrong. Okay. Wow. Okay. So where were you when you found out that about Terry Funk? How did you find out about Terry Funk? I was in my office working. Oh, oh! So you was in your office at the same time about both, right? So it was the same thing. Yeah. Oh wow! Wow. Okay. Shocker in the game community. Exactly. Uh, so then, so now we come to okay. So we fast forward. I had my rest, although restless because of what's going on, and then still think about my uh, my late uh, wife upcoming anniversary that happened yesterday. But okay, so we're coming down to where I was coming to to move into Galveston. You know, about to about to go island life on y'all, and I did not sit five minutes just trying to straight uh you know, get to my new second palace, my intern second palace. When all of a sudden I found out from the Chief Justice I found out from the the Chief Justice was the first one that told me, literally, literally the first one that told me that Bob Barker had passed away. I was like Justin right. I said, I will give you a million dollars. I will give you a million dollars. Nope. Nope, he wasn't lying. Because Back. later that later that evening, game show uh, game show productions was like all the plays, you know, talk about Bob Parker and show pictures and stuff like. I kept on, no, 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 really. I guess I just moved in here. Really, I was I was just in a state of shock. I was I was like I, I really I grew up with the dude. Man. My head was like. Wow. 
I couldn't even, I, like, I mean, when we were playing on prices right that night, I couldn't even play. I couldn't even finish the game. Oh, wow. Wow. I had a really good guy most of the breakdown. Yeah, I mean, I know it wasn't paid, but uh, the only words were coming out of uh, that uh, we love you, Bob, and, uh, you know, even though I didn't get, uh, get a chance to be in there, I know that they were supposed to be doing another one one night, but it was too it was too much. We, I mean, we just got to wrestle with death. We just, we're now going into Bob Barker's uh, passing. Any anniversary, it, it's, it's too much. I just want this week to end. I just want this week to end. What about you? Yeah, but hopefully there's and there's one good thing. Backlash. I mean, not that, but it's payback this Saturday. Payback. Hey, huh? uh, Same here. And then I have to sing the very song that I try to avoid with my PTSD. And yes, I did show some emotion because it did bring up my PTSD uh, when I was singing those songs and then sharing about, you know, a little bit, of, doing a little bit of the eulogy for the queen. It was, it was too much. It was, it was, it was too much. I, oh, my God, my God, my God. I mean, I mean, I, eight years, eight years ago. Okay, so I'm back. It's a little long shot. It's a little long shot. Long shot. Yeah, but uh, so. I know we're still in the middle of our special, but uh, let's talk about the we- the, weir- the weirdness that is payback and only a- only a few matches. What's up with that? I don't know, man. I'm pulling it up right now. I'll give me one secundo. Okay. I will so be glad when this week is totally over. I mean, I just moved in. Every all all hell was still breaking loose. I just moved in here. Literally just moved in here. Okay, we got Becky Lynch for Trish Stratus heel match. You know, I used to be in love with Trish Stratus. I had a poster and everything like that, and she just ruined it when she said she was a mother. So you know what? Even though even though she's married now, I'm still going with the man. I'm still going with Becky Lynch. I'm gonna pull a double down. Ooh, ooh a double down flavor. Both of them are very Both of them are very But I'm going to give the edge to Becky Lynch. That's true. And that's true. It's damn true. Anyway. Oh. Hello? Says Mr. Hello? Rollins. Hello. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I thought I lost it there for a second. I hope the audience was still able to hear it, but uh you said Seth Freaking Rollins is um fighting who? For Kinsuke Nakamura for the world heavyweight title. Now I'm gonna have to do a double down at you because both these guys are just, you know, Killing it in the WWE game, you know. I'm gonna have to do a double down. But I'm giving the edge. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving the du- double down, but I'm giving the edge to uh, Seth freaking Rollins. But I have a weird feeling something's gonna happen. I'm giving the edge to Shinsuke. I'm gonna give the edge to Shinsuke Nakamura though. He's due. Okay. Okay. That's why we're doing the double down, because we don't know what the, what, what the hell is going to happen in that match. Very abruptly versus Raquel Rodriguez, but here's the ultimatum. If Joe can say that for any championship, it's real. Oh, my God. It's one of those three ending type, uh, ending type matches that I always get heart attacks on. Oh my god. Yikes. Well I don't know. I I'm gonna have to give the S to Rhea on that one, but 
I mean, things always happen in these career and matches. Like, sometimes they could be spared and sometimes, you know. I mean, look what happened with uh, Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker at WrestleMania. I'm going to tell about you guys. She's due for a women's title. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> I love the L A Knight. Yeah. I used to hell. I used to hate L A Knight. Yeah, especially with especially with the heel. Now that everybody everybody's loving him, everybody's going, uh, you know, going like he's the rock, or you know, why well, can't they John Cena because he's uh. uh I love L.A. Same, same. You know, even even the uh, even um uh, my vice president uh the one that's going to be my vice president should I win? Uh, he likes L.A. Knight too. So I'm going to go for L.A. Knight. And- yeah. Kevin Owens, Kevin Zane versus Finn Balor and Damian Priest for the in the Steel City defeated tag titles. Oh, they're gonna retain. The Kevin Owens and uh and Sammy Zane's gonna retain. Yep, they are. I'm going for it. Kevin Owens and Sammy Zane, yep. they're gonna retain. keep the five titles. But there's gonna yep, be more matches. Uh well, we're gonna have to wait to find out during the Hong Kong going up SmackDown before uh payback, and it's gonna be weird uh the Friday night before payback, and and then you know uh whoever's gonna be challenged the match, they gotta they had no time, they actually had no time to prepare, none, none. I mean, wow. I mean, this is a crazy week. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would get that pay per view payback because it's like I don't know. Some of the matches are good, but the storylines, the storylines is missing. I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, even after ever since uh, uh, Jey Uso's left and um, the Bloodline is crumbling, I don't know. There's something missing about payback. I I just don't know. I just don't know. What? Well, might take on his brother. Exactly. Yeah, I would be surprised if there's going to be a Jay Jimmy match. I I think uh, I think the crowd would love to see that. Lo- I mean, absolutely love to see a brother versus brother match. Well, it's great. Oh. On that? Yeah. I hear you. I definitely hear you. I mean we all had to share the chair this whole this whole entire weekend and I and I, and I hate it. I, I actually I actually hate it. I mean from Denver to Saturday to yesterday, I'm still I'm still sore from that. I'm I'm still out of it. I mean, and I, you know, I got to pick up some things later on today, and, uh, oh, what the heck. Yeah, yeah. What the heck. But I, I hope somehow we would be able to be okay by the time we have to, uh, we have to, uh, tell everybody, uh, how we did with, uh, payback, and, uh, uh, Wow. Yowie wow. wowie. Exactly. Exactly. Yowie wow. Yeah. Indeed. Yowie wow. We love you, Bray. Yeah, we love you, Bray. And thank you. And thank you, Terry Funk. And thank you, Bob Barker. Have your pets spayed have your pets spayed or neutered. I think you also say help control the pet population, but I probably made a long shot of that, but uh, listen, listen, everyone out there. 
Big D zone. And to my queen, my precious queen of Big D country, have fun with have fun with the uh with the newcomers in heaven and uh watch out for them like while you're an angel, will ya? I know you're an angel because uh you know, I I still love you. I still love you. It is, it is it is mad hard. Eight years you've been on. Eight years. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, Sean, thank you for uh, taking up this uh, difficult uh, task that we had to do for the uh, for the wrestling community, and I know other other people for the wrestling community have done the same thing. It's very difficult, them, and it's also. Huh? Moment that you like to get off. Hello. Hello. 